I think it's about time we learn how to do function protocols. On this image, we see death and return. These are the keywords associated with making a function definition. This is the name of our function definition, and after it has been defined, then from then on, we can do, do it with some brands. And whatever is going on here has to, in some way, match up with the arguments into the call. Do it is our identifier that we put on our function object. And it has the exact same weight in the language as did any identifier. I can put that do it on any object, and it's just fine. But I'm not going to do that because it starts with a verb, and it is capitalized, the second and all continuing words being capitalized again. So I know by looking at it from the style guide that it is a function. That helps a lot for your readability to follow that style guide. It is the best. Okay, and then the keyword return, you can line up any number of things you wish and return them to the caller. Now, this little miracle of Python is a big deal because the reason why you needed to learn about pointers, which have nothing to do with Python, the reason you learned to do that was because functions could only return one item. And so the item that you would often have to return would be a pointer where at that place in memory, all the answers are lined up. Well, now we can line them all up right here. It is so much easier to read, write, and get correct. Python miracle. Moving on down, the implementation of that function doesn't come till later. But let's instead look at double it just to get a uh, look at the deal. Here's our def and our return, golden for being keywords. Double it is blue. Something comes in, two aster asterisk, something goes out. If you put in a two, you get a four. You put in a high, you get a high, high. So nobody's checking the type that goes in. We didn't declare a type. You can't declare a type. 4.4 comes out when you put in a float. So all three of these work because all three of them have the asterisk defined. This would break right here if I tried to put in an object of the function class. Now here's something that's a surprise to many programmers who are used to a language where you give a uh, declaration of what the function you're going to define. All declarations might be in a header file. None of that goes on. Let me show you what goes on instead. Here I have a function strum guitar, and I have beat drum call in that function. Here I'm calling strum guitar, putting in a two, measures are two, going around two times. Strum, 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 beat drum. Well, this is an interpreter. It has not yet seen that word, beat drum. So what comes out is a name error. Name, beat drum, is not defined. When you get the error coming out of your code that is a name error, almost always you want to fix your code. You're not going to uh, catch that. That means there's something wrong with the code. And usually it's a misspelling. Here we have the same code again, but this time we're defining all of our functions before we call any. And all Python code looks like that. There is one call at the bottom of the module. And so doing it this way, everything's fine. We want to zip through two more great features of Python function definitions before we go to the labs. The first one is that you can provide a default. Here I make a go to the park where I have a required first argument, who's going to the park, and then the best friend either comes in as the second argument or Jose is waiting there as the de default. So all we do is print out the name of the best friend. 
So when Charlie goes in with Josephine, we see that. But when Judy goes in on her own, Jose has been waiting. Here's another lovely feature, key worded arguments. Here we're printing out first and last. Rocky the squirrel goes in and we're not surprised to see, hello Rocky the squirrel. But in this line eight called greed, we have given key worded arguments. Last equals moose. You do that and they find themselves. And we see, hello Bowling moose. You use both of these techniques and, in, and together, you'll be doing that in your lab. Have fun.